Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me today. If you're new here, I appreciate you clicking on this video, seeing what this is all about, and I hope you enjoy your time here. So guys, today is Whip Wednesday. Whip, whip. What you whipping on today? What is your whip of the day? So share with me in the comments. Hey friends, thanks for joining me at my desk for Whip Whip Wednesday. So what is your whip today? What are you working on? What you got going on? If it's not a project, then what else are you doing? What's, what's going on today? Tell me all the details in the comments below. So I've been working on my turtle and I do need two more skeins of this yarn. And so it is available on Amazon and there's some on Etsy and there's some on eBay but by the time you pay the shipping charges it equals out to what it's on Amazon for anyway and so I'm going to order some tomorrow on Thursday I'm going to order two skeins of it and that should be plenty to finish out what I need to do but I have almost finished this thin and I have this one that's the two front flippers, and here's the back flipper, and I probably have enough to do the tail, and I might even have enough to do a flipper, or a tail, or something like that, but, um, yeah, I don't have enough to do the body, so I'm going to order that tomorrow, and but it's not going to come in until, like, maybe the 26th of September so it's cutting it really close to be able to put that in the fair which if it did come in on the 26th I could just work on it and get it done I'm not worried about that I'm just worried about it coming in in time to allow me to work work on it I got the hiccups all of a sudden <laughs> so Big Daddy and I have been talking about some plans and things that um you know where what what are we doing here where where can we take this and what's our next move and um so we just been talking about some different things that we could do and you know you always want to up your game and so after i realized last night that you know okay i got to order more yarn before i can finish this turtle um me and Big Daddy were sitting here talking about some different uh, plushy projects and stuff like that. And I went in my yarn room and looked to see what I had. I had this color right here. I think it's a gold. Let me see what it is. It is a... Um, it's a... A Barnett blanket, Barnett blanket for sure. It's a six weight and it is color gold. Well, does it, would it pass for pumpkin spice? It really doesn't look gold. I mean, it looks a little orangey yellow. I guess that's what gold is, right? Do you think this would pass as pumpkin spice? Because that's what I'm crocheting. <laughs> I am crocheting a pumpkin spice drink. And probably like a boba. Is that what you call them? With the little... Putting the little circles on it for the little um, squishy rubber things in there. I know it's tapioca balls, but... Um, we like to call them different things. Like fish eggs and stuff like that. But it's tapioca balls. Um, one time we did call it fish eggs on the video. And I don't think anybody got that we were joking. <laughs> because <laughs> we know it's not fish eggs anyway but those little tapioca balls are nasty to me do you drink those do you eat those or <clears throat> drink the drinks with the tapioca balls in them some people love them and just you know are addicted to them i'm just like i'm addicted to not getting those <laughs> i'm a very textured person and um I just can't even imagine. I, I can't. We we did get some little drinks one time 
from the Asian market that had those in there and we tested those and I just I just couldn't they were nasty Big Daddy did end up drinking the little canned coffees and stuff that I had got but I didn't drink anymore <laughs> but do you drink those and do you eat the little tapioca balls I don't like tapioca anyway so yeah but anyway, so I that's what I am crocheting right here. That is my Wednesday Wilp. I started this last night, which was technically already Wednesday because it was after midnight when I started this. So that's what I'm crocheting is a, um, I'm not going to call it a Starbucks drink, but basically it's a Starbucks pumpkin spice drink. I don't know if you call it a bo boa. Is that how you say it? The BOA? I'm not sure. I ain't gotta say it to crochet it. <laughs> and I sure, I'm sure not gonna drink it. I won't be ordering one, so I don't really need to know how to say it. Because I will never order anything like that. But anyway, my son Dakota, he is all about pumpkin spice. He lives for that all year long. And when we're in town and we see like pumpkin spice Pop-Tarts or pumpkin spice coffee, we always pick that up for him anytime we see something. Um, one time this past year we saw pumpkin spice popcorn. And we got him some bags of that. But yeah, anytime we see pumpkin spice something, we always get that for Dakota because he loves pumpkin spice. I don't care for it, um, which I'm not, I don't like pumpkin flavor. And I'm also not a cinnamon and nutmeg person. The only cinnamon I like is cinnamon stitches. Okay. <laughs> That's the only cinnamon I like. Nah, um, I can take cinnamon in moderation, but I don't, I don't like a strong taste of cinnamon. And I don't like nutmeg either. But we're hitting that time. It's fall. Fall's a-coming. And I'm welcoming it, okay? I just wish it would, like, get fall and stay fall all year long. I could handle that. But anyway, that's what I'm crocheting today is a pumpkin spice something. <laughs> Some kind of pumpkin spice drink. I hope this looks kind of pumpkin spice. So I asked my friend Angela uh, about it. I snapped her a picture and sent to her. And she thought maybe it wasn't orange enough and I was like Angela it's got milk in it <laughs> so yeah it's pumpkin spice but it's got milk in it so it's not gonna be bright orange and she's like oh oh my bad <laughs> that's the way we are so anyway tell me what y'all think pumpkin spice or is it a caramel <gasps> it could be a caramel latte but I know that this is the time of the year for pumpkin and everybody's you know crazy about pumpkin except me raise your hand if you're not a pumpkin spice girl or guy I'm sorry gentlemen I, I sometimes just say that and thinking about myself and not really thinking. Uh, anyway, I talked to my son Dakota this morning on his way to work. He is sick. Bless his heart. He's got the flu. His, um, the lady he works with had it last week. She had the flu last week and now he's got it this week. So, bless his heart. He was on his way to work. And he didn't sound like he felt 
very well at all. So I hope he has a good day. And he's already been sick. Um, this is his third day. So hopefully it's going to pass on pretty quickly. Hopefully it will pass on quickly and he'll get to feeling better because we do have plans for Saturday night and he needs to be well. <laughs> but we have plans for him, as, him on Saturday night so he needs to be well and not be sick. And today is like I said, Whip Wednesday. Yeah, I know I got other whips I need to work on, but, um, you know, me and Big Daddy talked about this. So I was like, I don't think it would take that long to whip something like that up. And so, um, yeah, I said, well, let me just go look in my room and see what kind of yarn I've got. And... I found this a six weight yarn and so I pulled it out this I'm, I'm wanting to get some more um, big yarns like this either six weight or sevens to do some large size plushies and um, some specialty projects that Big Daddy and I have talked about but I don't know if I should get six weight, seven weight. Also, this yarn is on sale this week. So I've got to figure out what colors I'm going to get and how many of each color and go and get some. Big Daddy said, let's just go get some this week and then, you know, you can start making the stuff you want to make. But I'm, I'm at that roadblock where I've got to figure out how many, what colors, and how many of each color I need to finish a project. You know what I'm saying? Like I need to get ever how many balls it takes to make that project. So I'm not stuck in the situation where I can't complete a project. And how do y'all figure all that out? Especially somebody who doesn't always follow a pattern and just kind of you know makes it up like I don't know how I, I, I know I'm just making this pattern up <laughs> but I know that um, I know that I'll, I'll just finish it before I run out of this right but I don't think I'll get anywhere close to running out of that because I'm just going up for a drink I am I did increase a little bit um, as I have went up to give it that slanted look as a cup, right? And so I've increased a little bit, and then I just do some straight crocheting a little bit, and then I'll increase a little more. So I don't want to increase too much, so I am, um, you know, giving it some straight crochet rows in between my increase rows. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I got going on. Tell me down below what you are working on. And tell me somewhere if you are coming Friday evening at 4 o'clock to the Joanne Shreveport tell me that I know I'm saying that a lot but um, I don't know I've had two people in that area have told me that one of them's out of town and she's she wants to come but she's um, already had plans to be out of town that weekend so she can't come but she lives right there in that area and then someone else um, is she's saying that she don't she don't think she's gonna be able to make it that lives in that area and it's so um 
I don't know. I don't know. We might not have anybody. <laughs> Antoinette. It might just be me and Big Daddy and Antoinette. And that will be fine if, if that's the way it plays out. That's the way it plays out. We're still going to have a good time. And Antoinette will just get a little more of us than she bargained for. <laughs> oh, but I was trying to get, you know, a clear number of how many are coming. Um, not how many, you know, want to come and can't. I know, but I need a number of how many are coming so that I have enough thing prizes and stuff like that on my end so yep and trying to wade through all the comments to find the one that says you know i'm coming can get a little overwhelming <laughs> so i did put a um, post on the facebook group and you can also comment that below if you're coming to Joann's on Friday, and if you are, put it in capital letters, if you can put it in all caps, so I'll be able to spot it easily, that would be helpful, and plan on bringing, bring a little project to work on a little bit, while we chat, and we're going to play some games, It's going to be some prizes, stuff like that. Ugh. So, anyway, I am going to crochet like some dark brown, little dark brown circles and put all on the outside of this. It will have a kawaii face on it. And a top with, I guess, a straw. Yeah, I mean, that's the way I see it in my head. We'll see if that comes out. <laughs> Sometimes the vision in my head don't quite come out, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have some projects that I have been, you know, trying to get done up, working on them as I can. And I could have grabbed one of those projects instead of starting this, but um, me and Big Daddy just kind of wanted to see. I'm trying to get an idea of how much of this yarn it takes to make a um, medium to large plushie. I wouldn't call this a small, but I wouldn't call this like really a jumbo. It's probably like a medium size plushie is what I'm thinking. So, I'm trying to get an idea because that sale, Michaels has the Sweet Snuggles 7 Jumbo on sale for a, do um, a dollar. That would be wonderful. They have it on sale for $6.99 this week. And Michaels, no, that is Michaels. But my Michaels don't have all the colors. So, I've got to check the Michaels in Shreveport when I'm there on Friday. And, um, Joann's has the Big Twist Posh, which is a six-weight yarn, on sale for $6.99 this week. So, I gotta get them this week, because I don't want to pay $9.99 next week. So, I'm trying to figure out, am I getting, you know, how many to get of... The colors I'm trying to figure out about how much does it take to make different size plushies you know you can't just get one skein of this color one color and think you're gonna make something because sometimes it calls for two or three or for the big turtle that I'm wanting to make it calls for four for the body color and then one for the shell color. So that's five skeins of yarn. Right? So I can't just go and get one or two 
a, you know, a certain color and think I'm going to make a big old plushie with it. You got to know, have an idea about how many skeins it takes to make a big plushie. So this is medium size and that's why I kind of jumped on this to just kind of make it to get an idea about a medium size. Of course, this isn't going to have arms or legs, although I could give it arms and legs. I totally could. Huh. I would need some black probably for the feet. I don't know. I don't know that I need to give it arms and legs. I probably just need to make the drink. <laughs> I probably just need to make it and quit adding parts to it. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. I got a lot running through my mind because um, the sale is going to be over. And, I, you know, I'm going to be in Shreveport for that one day. So I've got to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got to know what I'm getting really and truly. I've got to know exactly how many to get of each color for different projects. So what do you guys think? So what's your thoughts on that? If you, you know, are a plushie maker, which I've made tons and tons and tons of plushies, amigurumis, but I've done them in four weight yarns mostly. I've done a few in bulky yarns. Some, uh, I did a humongous octopus in a seven weight yarn. I've done um, a lot of jellyfish. Um, trying to think. Uh, I, one time I did a big humongous cupcake. Um, it was pretty big. It was a big old cupcake. And I sold it for $20 at a market. Um, a young child, a young kid bought it. Maybe like a young teenage boy, maybe like 12, 13. He had come by and he said, how much is this? And I said, is there a tag on it? And he looked and said, $20. And I was going to come down for him, but then he whipped out his, um, a card and said, can I pay cash out? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he paid for it and he got it for a birthday gift for somebody. So anyway, That is my drink so far. It's going to come on up. I don't know how tall it's going to be. Um, probably when I get tired of crocheting on it. No. Um, and the bottom, the bottom looks good. Uh, I, I, you know, we'll start stuffing it at some point. Stuff it down in there and open up that stuffing and stuff it real good. I probably could do that now, except my stuffing is buried so I'm not <laughs> but anyway guys I'm gonna let you all get going I hope you're having a wonderful day remember it's a beautiful day to crochet it is a wonderful day to enjoy your life and I hope you have a very blessed day I'll see you in the next video friends